Okay, we're going to take a quick look at uh, fractions and introduction lesson. After you've gone through this little training tutorial, you can take a look at the self-test, the self-test video, and uh, work out some fractions and then see how you're doing. That's another video. So we're going to take a look at a couple of quick things here. We're going to see uh, about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, as well as improper fractions. Before we get started, we'll take a look at what I'll call fraction nomenclature, that is, what are the parts, the names of the parts of a fraction, so that you'll understand those. In this position, we have something that's called the numerator, anything that's in the position above the vinculum, which is that little line right there, uh, and the, the fact that it's called a vinculum isn't really all that important. So the important stuff is the numerator and, of course, the denominator. So those are the important things for you to know the numerator and the denominator and a fraction it's really just some form of division so a fraction can be rewritten to look like this 2 divided into 1 and that would equal 0 0.5 in decimals but decimals are beyond the scope of this lesson so we'll actually take a uh, look at those in another video alright the denominator simply tells you how many parts it takes to make one or a whole how much is the entire amount and the numerator tells you how many parts you have and here we have uh, one of two parts and here we have two of two parts and any time that you have the same number in the numerator as in the denominator it is equal to one so here we have two over two that's equal to one five over five or five fifths it's equal to one nine ninths it's equal to one x over x it's equal to one so why is it that one over one or two over two or nine ninths is equal to one well five fifths is equal to five divided by five and five will go into five one time in a long division format it would look like that nine ninths it's the same thing as nine divided by nine and that equals one uh, long division form, 9 goes into 9 one time. Uh, why is it uh, that x over x is uh, equal to 1? Well, it's just x divided by x, whatever x is, and that's equal to 1, and in long division format it looks like that. So, let's take a look at addition, and that is we have the numerator of 1 over the denominator of 2, that's 1 half, and 1 half plus 1 half is equal to 2 over 2 because you simply when you're adding fractions you simply add the numerators because the denominators the denominators here have to be the same and we'll talk about that shortly so 2 over 2 you already know is 1 so looking looking at that graphically we have 1 half of a circle plus 1 half of a circle equals one entire circle all right, in order to add the fraction, the denominators must be the same, and you'll produce a denominator that's the same. In other words, 2 plus 2 is not 4 in this case. A uh, denominator of 2 and a denominator of 2 remains a denominator of 2. And so uh, then you just simply add the numerators. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and the denominators stay the same. You do not add them. So you already know that 2 over 2 is equal to 1, so we'll move on. So, what do we do first here? Well, you take a look and you see, hmm, all the denominators are the same. We have 1 eighths, 3 eighths, plus 2 eighths. I simply then would come in and add the numerators. So, 1 plus 3, that's 4, plus 2, that's 6, and then you have 6 eighths, and 6 eighths will reduce to 3 quarters. However, reduction is a little beyond what we uh, want to cover right now. All right, so all the denominators must remain the same or be the same, and then you simply add the numerators. What do you do when the denominators are not the same? Well, here we have one half plus one quarter. The denominators are not the same. But what I've done is I've drawn a box and then I've cut it in half. Half of it's red and half of it's not. Then I have the same size box and I've cut it into four pieces. So this would represent one fourth and this would represent one half. So how do I add one half plus one quarter? The denominators aren't the same. I simply will come in and I can see that I can cut the one half into two pieces and that would give me one quarter plus one quarter. And one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter is three quarters. Two 
plus 1 is 3 quarters. And so you see I have 2 quarters plus 1 quarter equals 3 quarters, and there we have a graphic representation of that. Let's take a look at 2 thirds plus 2 sixths. The denominators are not the same. I have to get the denominators to be the same. Well, it turns out that 2 thirds can be turned into 4 sixths. This is the same number. It represents the same value. But I have now, in looking at this, can see, well, the co common denominator that the 2 would have, the least common denominator in this case, would be 6. Because if I double the 3, I get 6. And if I double the 3, I then have to double the numerator and get 4. So 4, 6, and 2 thirds are the same thing. Now, it's pretty straightforward. I simply then just come in and add 4 plus 2 is 6, and I keep my denominators the same. They're 6, and you know that 6 over 6 is equal to 1. All right, let's take a look at 1 half plus 1 quarter plus 1 eighth. The denominators are not the same. So what do I do? Well, I have to turn them into the least common denominator. In this case, I might recognize that uh, 8 seems to be the least common denominator, the, the smallest number that they will all fit into, and that is 4 will go into 8 2 times, so this would become 2 eighths, and 2 will go into 8 4 times, so this would become 4 eighths, because if I multiply this times 4, and I multiply the numerator times 4, I'll get 4 eighths. So I have 4 eighths, plus 2 eighths, plus 1 eighth and then I simply just add 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7, and I keep the 8's the same. That's 4 8's. Subtracting with fractions. It's the same thing. You have to have the denominators line up, and they have to be the same. So I have 1 half plus 1 quarter. I might recognize that 2 will go into 4 uh, an, an even number of times, so it's 2 times, so uh, 1 half becomes 2 fourths, and then I will have 2 fourths minus 1 fourth, and so it's straightforward uh, on that. I have 2 minus 1 equals 1. I'm dealing with fourths. It's 1 fourth. You can check yourself with uh, this by saying, okay, this number plus this number should equal that number. So 1 quarter plus 1 quarter does equal 2 quarters, and that's 1 half. All right, now let's take a look at 1 half minus 1 quarter minus 1 eighth. Uh, we will subtract from left to right, and we'll see that we have to get the common denominators, or the least common denominator that's here, and it looks like it's going to be 8 in this case, so uh, 1 half becomes 4 eighths, uh, 1 fourth becomes 2 eighths, and I just bring the 1 eighths down. Now I simply subtract 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, and I wind up with 1 eighth. All right, multiplying with fractions. It's exceedingly easy because the denominators do not have to be the same, and so it's pretty straightforward. We simply then just multiply the numerators. In this case, uh, 4 times 2 is 8, and 7 times 3 is 21. And 28, 28 over 21 will not reduce any further, so that's the least that we can do that. We could turn it into a decimal, however, that's beyond the scope of this lesson. All right, more with multiplying with fractions. We're simply going to take uh, 4 thirds and multiply that times 7 halves. We simply then just multiply 4 times 7, and that gives us 28. And then we multiply 3 times 2, and that gives us 6. And then we look at that and think, that's an improper fraction. We're going to have to uh, turn it into a proper fraction, and it could be reduced some. So improper fractions will be discussed later in the video. But if you were to take a look at this, you might see that, OK, I can simply cut 28 and half and 6 and half to wind up with 14 thirds. Now, 14 thirds turns into 4 and 2 thirds, but we'll take a look at how that happens shortly. All right, dividing with fractions. Well, I have 1 divided by 1 half, and that equals 2. Uh, 1 half will go into 1 two times. So how do you divide with fractions? It's uh, pretty straightforward as well. We simply turn over the fraction, so 1 half becomes 2 over 1, and then it's multiplication. 1, 1 times 2 equals 2, and uh, there's an applied 1 here, so 1 over 1 
times 1 is equal to 1, and you should know that any number over 1 is that number, and that happens to be 2. So that's what we got up here. So let's take a look at another example. 4 divided by 1 third equals 12. In other words, 1 third will go into 4 12 times. Well, let's uh, write it this way. 4 divided by 1 third equals the same thing as 4 times 3 over 1, and that equals 12 over 1, and that equals 12. Improper fractions. Improper fractions are when the numerator is larger than the denominator. In this case, uh, any number over 1 would equal uh, that number, so we have 2 over 1, which is 2. How many times will 1 go into 2? It'll go 2 times. Let's take a look at uh, 7 thirds. How many times will 7, uh, how, excuse me, how many times will 3 go into 7? 3 will go into 7 two times, that will be six, um, or excuse me, two times, so that's six, and six minus seven is one, so we wind up with two and one-thirds. You can check yourself this way by simply saying, okay, will three times two, that's six, plus one, that's seven, that's seven-thirds. All right, let's take a look at nine-halves. How many times will nine, uh, how many, excuse me, how many times will two go into 9, uh, it will go 4 times, and 4 times 2 is 8, that would leave us with 1 half left over, 1 over 2, we're dealing with halves, and so that would give us 4 and 1 half. You can check yourself by saying 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, we're dealing with halves. All right, 12 fifths, how many times will 5 go into 12? It will go 2 times, that will leave, that will create a 10, 10, uh, 12, 12 minus 10, uh, then is 2 left over, and so we wind up with 2 and 2 fifths. You can check yourself by saying 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, and we're dealing with fifths, 12 fifths. Okay, now you've been through the intro lesson on fractions, so now you can take the practice test via video. If you don't see the practice uh, fractions lesson as an option uh, to the side, you can enter the words that are above in red in the YouTube search bar. That's practice fractions lesson. All right, your comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome, encouraged, and appreciated. You may contact me at alanmorris at yahoo.com.